<laughs> Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. If y'all can Say hear hi. us, give us a thumbs up. Oh, do you have your Wi Fi? My Wi Fi's off. All right, we're going to go. Hey, Bradford Home. Hello, Lotus from Florida. Lotus. Okay. If someone can let us know if you can hear us, that would be great. Oh, you're catching us. So we decided to go live today. So Nathan is our moderator. So if you see him looking off, he's got... Um, I got moderator duty. So. He's got another laptop pulled up. We had other plans today uh, that got canceled. And so we decided this morning, hey, let's go live today. Yeah. Hey, Ashley Tuttle from South Carolina. So I just talked to you this week. Everyone on here. Hi, Michelle from South Carolina. Brad, get the Ukraine people in your prayers right now. Absolutely. We have been praying for them. We hope that everyone else does as well. Could you imagine? Could you imagine going through that? No, absolutely not. Who? We we live in the greatest country in this world. We have our freedom. We have our independence. I could mm -hmm. not imagine. Man, yeah. That's such a tough, yes. tough thing. Tina says yes. Dolores says yes. Ashley says yes. Okay, we can hear you. Great. All right, so as you can see, we got the whole gang. Pepe slat in. <laughs> Mommy's honey's too big. <laughs> so the kids will probably be with us for, if we can, like, do the live with the kids for 10 minutes, I'll be impressed. So any <laughs> questions you guys have directed towards the children, you might want to get it get on it the front now. end before they're just over it. <laughs> All right, let us know where you're from. If you have questions, if you don't mind putting them in caps, that way we can grab them. Yeah. Uh, that would be great. Seed to plate. Repin, Repin, Texas over here. Are you talking about, aren't they from Kingston is my hat? Who? My hat. Yes, they are. I met, I've never Tennessee. met them. Tennessee. Okay, maybe she was talking about her. Anyways, these are really cool market farmers in Tennessee. Um, Becky says, beautiful girls. That's so sweet. Tina, what's, love your faces. What's the weather like where you guys are? Because we had the most beautiful day. Hence the uh, uh, bright red forehead. <laughs> I got so sunburned today on purpose because I wanted to be outside all day. Okay. Someone had asked Laura Long, almost time to restock our morning harvest blend coffee. Our 15 bags Ooh. we bought for Christmas are almost gone. Oh I remember her. I do remember you. Bless I remember you. packing. That. that is so sweet. We're working on our spring blend right now. We're hoping to have a blend for each season and then do some sort of like subscription. So those of you who are ordering coffee monthly, you can get a discount. That's like way over my head. So I'm working on talking to someone who who knows more about that. <laughs> yeah, we we hopefully going to have our spring blend soon. Um, but we've we've got plenty of coffee yeah. in stock. So. I had an awesome church service today. I hope y'all felt God's grace today, too. Man, we did. Oh we got to church for the first time in what feels like a month. And Nathan and I left, and we were like, man, he was speaking right. I felt like our pastor was talking right to me. Nathan thought he was talking right He to was him. staring at me, and I knew he was talking to me. It was good. <laughs> we, we have had some sort of sickness for the last three weeks, whether it's been the girls or Jill and I. So we finally got to church today and it felt great. Thank you guys for that super chat. Julian, that is so sweet. We appreciate that very, very much. Hello from SoCal. Hey, Jeremy from Muddy, North Carolina. Jeremy has been my best friend lately. So Jeremy, if you guys don't follow him. Okay. Also, Jeremy, this is something I was going to ask you this week. We have a debate on how to properly pronounce your last name. And how do you think you say it? Shank. Shank. And that is not at all know. what I think. Okay, but anyways, if we're butchering it, we're going to get some clarification later. You guys, Jeremy has been a godsend. He has. We met him at HOA last year, yeah. and he has revamped our website. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, been at our becking call. So, like, 
we we owe him the world right now. We do. And I got the sweetest. So his daughter, Sky, we got the privilege of meeting. And I got my first handwritten letter from her this week, you guys. And she said, hi, Jill, do you want to be pen pals? And I almost cried. It was the sweetest thing. And so I sat down at the table and wrote her a little note back to go in the mail tomorrow. You guys go check them out. They have a YouTube channel and their daughter, Sky, does it. And it's just super sweet. Yeah, we'll June, do you want to say hi to everybody? Tell them your name. You're Ivy June, and how old are you? Two, and who's your favorite? Mm -hmm. Mommy! <laughs> no. Yes, that's right. No. Ashley says we're a little glitchy, but we can hear. Y'all, our internet here is horrible. I'm so sorry. Mama, Hi from Northern Alabama. Mama and Pepe. You love Mama and Pepe? That's sweet. Hi from Chicago. Can you go sit with Peyton for a minute? No. Okay. Hey, Hannah from Springfield, Missouri. Man, I got really behind on comments. Sorry. Hey, Jessica from Florida. I thought you were talking about the one in South Carolina. Where does Peyton live with her mom? They live about an hour from us. Yeah. 45 minutes. 45 minutes from mm -hmm. an hour from us, so... All right. Hi from Ohio. Junie, mommy can't see. Hi, Reagans from Vermont. Oh, how is the weather in Vermont? Oh, my goodness. Debbie Wheeler says aloha from Hawaii. Wow. Can we swap places? Hey, you got to sit down so mommy Wait, can read, okay? Who's Reagan? Who's Reagan? The family. Oh, yeah. She was saying hi, Reagans. Oh. Hey, Robert from Stuttgart, Arkansas. Hey there from Chicago. It's cold. Beautiful weather. Hey, from Georgia. All right. Whoa, I was so behind. Hello. From Australia. Are the girls as excited for spring gardens as we are? I don't know. Are you guys excited for the gardens this spring? Yes. Uh, yes. What have you been talking about all day, Charlie? All day. Yeah. Well, tell them about it. Um. Uh, right, uh, um, uh, past this wall, I have my, uh, my own kid garden. Yes, and she is so excited, and she wants to do content around it, and so she just asked, Mom, are you going to edit my videos? <laughs> hi, Junebug. Somebody said hi to you, sweetie. Say hi. Say hi. The weather is typical for Mont weather. We got 12 inches of snow on Friday. Whoa. All right. What are the girls' favorite thing to grow? Whiskey River Farms. Charlie, what's your favorite thing to grow in the garden? Um, I'm going to have to say fermented radishes. Fermented radishes. So she mm. loves radishes. Yeah. What about you, Peyton? Um, I'll have to say it's fun whenever you're helping like planting carrots mm -hmm. but i also really love planting flowers because they're it's fun to grow up with them yeah it is so you have two things yeah ashley said good luck charlie that's great hi from scotland i hope my sashito peppers make it this year Catherine. that is something that we did not originally have on the crop plan and i made adjustments and i said we are adding some sashito peppers <laughs> <laughs> and there were a couple of heirloom tomatoes that definitely had to make the list. Yeah. yeah. All right. right. Hannah wants to know, Charlie, what do you want to grow in your kid garden? I want to grow, uh, like, again, the radishes, carrots, flowers, cucumbers, maybe watermelons. Oh, watermelons would be good. Mom doesn't ever grow those. Because they're hard to grow. Like every time you grow them, they never sprout. <laughs> okay. We we grew some uh, kajari melons. That oh, we did. Yeah. Turned out really well, yeah. and then we grew some honeydew melons that turned out real well. But that is true. yeah, we've really never. Mm -hmm. done Marissa much. wants to know: Are you planning on getting any goats or cows? No goats. No goats. <sighs> One day a cow. One day. <laughs> Hoping others send more super chats. Y'all are growing so very happy for y'all. That was so sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah. Maybe sheep one of these days. Oh, yeah. We have been talking about that. We have been talking. I need some sort of grass grazing animal. 
when I do get these pastures established, I need something that's going to help me uh, keep the grass down. So somebody asked, Julian asked, how did you meet your hubby? We met at church many moons ago. Ooh, many moons. Look how, uh, wow. I don't know she how pursued, y'all she pursued me, actually. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hello from Windy Cool, Pennsylvania. And did the girls eat all of that freeze-dried candy yet? No, not even close. No, not we hit it on the top shelf. Oh, we were eating some today. Oh, you were? <laughs> well, we didn't tell you. Though. We got to limit that. Uh, hey, Jesse at Willowbrook Homestead. What's up, buddy? <laughs> hello from work. Your secret's safe with us, brother. <laughs> Hello from Oklahoma. I'm trying your coffee for the first time this week and love it. Oh, Becca, Good. that is great feedback. Thank you so much. Let me tell you something. We're coffee snobs. We really are. Mm -hmm. And how many different blends did we try before we settled on that one? A lot. A lot. I like, thought that was really good. Hey, what? do you want to go hang out with Pepe and Cha Cha? No. Well, you're going to have to be quiet. Someone had asked. She's like, no. Um, any advice on sourcing bulk soil slash compost to a small town? Ivy, get down. The delivery costs oh. I have been quoted are often just as much as the soil itself. Yeah, that's, okay. that's true. That's uh, similar to where we are. Um, typically, I've got a really good source for compost, super soil, things like that. Um, however, the dump truck fee is just as much, if not sometimes twice as much as the actual cost um, hey, wait back, wait and, that, and that's pretty typical believe it or not you know i mean you you think about fuel prices uh depending on the distance between your farm and where it comes from um a lot of times our dump truck fee is 150 to 200 dollars when you know a load of compost may be 40 bucks 50 bucks so it just uh just depends on how far you are from from your source so that's we, we, yeah. we struggle with that, too. Mm -hmm. Tammy, that was really sweet about what you said about Peyton's head wrap. I will tell her when she gets back. Uh, we actually stocked headbands in the shop last week. They're last stocked week. on there again this week. So if you guys who always ask about my head wraps, we now have them on our website. That's right. Hello from New Zealand, Wild Hope Homestead. Elizabeth said, my five-year-old daughter has her own garden, too. We'd love to watch Charlie's content together. Ooh. Oh, what are you going to name your channel, Char? I don't know yet. You don't know yet? I feel like I'm going to take over my kitchen, my restaurant name, and put and do it that one. Which is? Only Sundays. Only Sundays. <laughs> are you keeping a rooster for sustainability? We are keeping a rooster because Nathan doesn't want to get rid of the rooster. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to get rid of it. It's when I get rid of it, do I have the time to process boil it? Boil it down, process <laughs> it, boil it down, make chicken stock. No. So it's bottom of the list right now. It is. Lindsay, I saw you sent us a super chat. That was so kind. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Lindsay. Are you going to do a TV show for Abundance Plus? Negative. <laughs> Lord, could you imagine us on a TV show? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. She and Soil. Hello. You guys, we had uh, Junie B. She's a mess. She's fun. The Sleepy beautiful. Misfit. You inspired me to start documenting my own garden journey. I'm an urban farmer, and I'm so excited this season. That is so awesome. Uh, congratulations. congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Hey, Sky. How are you, sweet girl? Where Don't forget to hit uh, Jeremy had said Sky says hi. Nice oh. video, guys. Hey, Sky. Katie, so excited to bring Otis to life and bake my first sourdough loaf this week. Oh, my gosh, Katie. I just hopped on my Instagram. We had talked about this. For those of you who maybe didn't catch it, uh, we are now selling sourdough starter on our website. And me and my friend Sean and his wife, Melanie, launched a sourdough course. And it has been so much fun. You guys know baking is something I just kind of dive into uh, in the winter. I don't have as much time to do it uh, in the summer, if I'm being honest. But it has 
brought me so much joy. So many people have been tagging yeah. me and their sourdough loaves and the feedback from the course. And I love it. I love, if you guys don't know, uh, creating a community. And this is a way I've been able to create a community through baking, which is a different community that I might have not connected with before. Um, and so that's just been really cool to get to talk to new people and just connect that way. So I'm loving what that I, feedback. What I really like about that whole situation is literally, have you, have you told them what you're going to do? I don't know. What are you about to say? So <laughs> every month they're going to do. Oh, yeah. 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 Have no, you told I them haven't. That? I haven't. Go ahead. Well, I'm gonna let no, no, you no. Talk. It's good. You do. You tell them. Well, I don't know the full story, but. <laughs> So any of you that are buying the course or have bought Otis every month, they're going to do this. Hey, come bake with me. We're going to bake. Uh, do bake along. We're going to do kind of a, like a bake along yeah. and create this community. Yeah. And that's what I loved about this whole mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. So we're excited. We're working through the details. It'll probably be on some sort of like youtube live where it's like hey come join us in our kitchens this is what we're doing we yeah. hope to know what you guys are doing we just thought that would be uh, really fun Catherine, we hope to start our family soon how long were you does that say terrified after your first was born laugh out loud <laughs> um i don't think i we was, jumped right in yeah i don't think i was terrified um I did have a bit of anxiety. Nathan and I have had three miscarriages. We had one before Charlie and two after Charlie. And so there was kind of this anxious energy. Um, but it's one of those things we just kind of gave it to the Lord and knew that in his timing, it would be right and he would equip us. And we, every day, parenting is something we are figuring out. We are by no means experts. And so I just pray that God would give you peace in that and that. That's right. We were, in his timing. we were convicted today after going to church and, uh, you know, we're not perfect parents. We, yeah. we have a lot going on just like everyone else. Right. Um, and we prior to prioritize what's important to us. And, you know, kids are definitely on that. The farm yeah. is definitely on that, mm -hmm. you know? And so, you know, you're a child is, is a precious life, right. Mm -hmm. And your responsibility or you're responsible for that life. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I love being parents and I think that is such a priority. Yeah. Um, Man, it's hard. Y'all raising hard, babies is hard. <laughs> it's hard, you know, prioritizing farm life, build, yeah. building a business, mm -hmm. children, you know, it's but it's so worth it. It so is. Worth it. You got this. Alyssa wants to know, can we talk about succession planting? Lots of questions regarding that. Alyssa, lay it on us. We yeah. are happy to answer your questions. Yeah. Fairbug, do you have a percentage of your yearly food supply you are aiming for this year? Oh, that's good. I'm not sure that we've sat down and really mapped that out. Um, we should. We should. You know, um, one thing that really hurt us last year is we were in between. So when we moved to this property it was in August. And so we didn't preserve as much as we should have last year. Yeah. You know, we grew, we were in an in-between season. We were in in-between <laughs> season. We knew that we weren't going to grow as much at the old place because we didn't have much time to, to preserve it. So I think this year's focus is really going to be preserving, putting back food. Urban white Buffalo farms. Will we see only Sunday every week? Lord. I think only Sundays will probably be something we do in the summer when Charlie's out of school. Yeah. But yeah, I think if you did a weekly come hang out with Char in the garden, that'd be fun. I think mom could probably handle that. Yeah. And I want to say thank you to Urban White Buffalo because they comment on all the videos. It's always positive, And I really appreciate um, seeing your comments every week. That's so. sweet. Lindsay, you are welcome. Your last vlog was so incredible and inspirational. Never stop being you. You guys are amazing. Thank you. That is so sweet. I'm going to just, you know, I feel like most of the people that hop on our live are core people, you know? Mm -hmm. And I told Nathan, I was like, I'd come upstairs. I was like, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about, but I really feel like God is calling me to, to do this vlog. And he was like, well, what's it about? I was like, I don't really know. I just really feel like I need to encourage people. And I'm telling you guys this because sometimes it's hard to step out of your comfort zone, right? Like I'm a believer. I don't try to hide that. But even as a believer and have been a believer most of my life, when God calls you to do something, it's scary. 
And that looked like me sitting at my dining room table and turning on a camera. That was still scary. And I always have this swell. Like when I publish the video, it's always like, well, what if that person? And then, you know, God has to remind me like, hey, I called you to this for a reason. It's going to be okay. And I I do. I always kind of get nervous when I when I do those just like spirit led videos. Um, But the response was absolutely mind blowing. And I told Nathan, I was like, I'm so glad that I listened when I felt like that's what I was being called to do because we've had so many opportunities to pray for people, to partner with people, encourage people. Many of you guys, Nathan said, were like hopping on and responding to other people's comments, encouraging them, which is really what we're trying to do is just build a community of people like, Hey, if you need to talk to somebody or you need encouragement, like we are here for you and seeing that within our community just really meant a lot. I, Um, I really enjoyed, um, just watching all the comments, you know, like you guys, you guys pour into us as much as we pour into you, Mm -hmm. you know, and we really appreciate that. We, we need that (laughs) that positive feedback. We We need that encouragement to, Mm -hmm. you know, keep going Mm -hmm. essentially. So KJ Goodman, maybe a fermentation course next. Yes. So that is something uh, we are wanting to do. I think we had said at least like a minimum of two courses a year, potentially up to four, The content is different. If you guys bought the course, you know, we're progressively, I think, trying to get better as we're learning this. Um, We're trying to keep them at a price point that is affordable. You do have access for a lifetime Um, because that is some of the questions we've been getting asked is, well, why are you charging for content now? Um, and, And we give free content. But these, there's a lot more involved. There's a lot more steps. It is much more professional (laughs) than my blogs. Like my blogs, I'm turning them on. Sometimes I may still be in my PJs and my hair's a mess. You know, like on these courses, we're putting a lot of time in there and really doing it in a teaching classroom style. Um, And so a fermentation course is one that was definitely on our list of ones we want to produce. We also want to do another vegetable uh, course that isn't maybe for a beginner, maybe like uh, someone who's already beginning, but looking to maybe uh, scale up or figure out more efficient systems. And so that's something you're going to see for us uh, in the future. And I'm excited about yeah. that for sure. And and to back you up here, you know, there, there's a lot that goes into that. Um, there is, yeah. <laughs> I, I get to sit back and watch. And I mean, just in this sourdough course, um, I I would guess there's way over 40 hours. Like th- there is so much involved. Well, it's with condensed this. down. It's only a couple hours if you purchase it. But yes, we have. I'm, I'm talking about making. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about making yeah, it. Like it sure. is a commitment to yeah. to do this, and I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of you, Thank honestly, you. for that, um, and keeping it at a price point. You know, yeah. it's one of those things that uh, requires a lot of your time. So, yeah. Thank you, babe. Have you started any vegetable seeds yet? I started tomatoes and peppers for the first time. Yes. So I started cabbage, spinach, lettuce, kale. And then this past Friday, I started our first round of peppers and tomatoes. Uh, KJ Goodman. Also, can we join the bake along if we have our own starter? Absolutely. The whole idea of this is to create a community of people and reach people that we aren't reaching right now. Like we're in that gardening, farming, homesteading community. And if we can, you know, like extend our reach a little and touch someone else and bring them in um, to a community that maybe is lacking for them, that's really what we want to do. How did I get so behind on this? You are way behind. I know. I don't know what happened. Here's one from Holden Ground Farm. When starting new in ground garden beds, will you be doing a no dig? Could you elaborate a bit on what your process uh, would look like? Yes. So if we did more in-ground growing space, which hopefully we will, we will do a no dig, no till approach. And essentially what that would look like is laying down a barrier, cardboard essentially. And so, okay, if we're being technical, like, which I guess a raised bed is anything raised off the ground. So, but when I think of like in ground gardening, Mm -hmm. you've got your tilling and you're sowing in the ground. And then you have where you're building without borders essentially, which is what we would do. It would still technically be a raised bed, but we wouldn't have any borders to it. We'd lay down a barrier from, you know, to 
prevent weeds and things like that. And then we would bring in compost and amendments and build some sort of bed on top of the ground. Mm -hmm. We're working on, <clears throat> we're working on doing that. We are yeah. working on uh, compost. Mm -hmm. um, that is something that we're trying to get established here uh, just to amend all of our beds, but potentially do some more raised beds, raised bed, no-till garden. Mm -hmm. So. Tell a uh, patient about their comment about her headband. Oh, someone said your headband looked really cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jenna, is it worth buying the sourdough bundle starter plus the course in Scotland, or does the time difference change things? It will not change anything. Um, I don't think it would. Do you? The time difference as far as... Because, like, your proofing and stuff, we just tell them it's, like, between 12 to 18 hours for proofing. The second rise okay, is yeah, two yeah. to three hours. So I don't think that would make a difference. Yeah. Whiskey River says, watch out, Mama. Char is going to be the next YouTube star. <laughs> Y'all, she tells me that all the time. Mom, She's a performer. One day I'm going to have more subscribers than you, and I hope you do. I hope you do. <laughs> Ellie May, any more tattoos in the near future? Your tattoos are so beautiful. Thank you. I, I don't I don't feel like it. I really wanted to complete my uh, sleeve, which I did. And, yeah, I don't. That was just, like, one thing I really wanted to. I'm getting the next one. Yeah, Nathan will probably get the next one. Do not feel that you must go live each week and don't feel like you have to measure to others' parenting ideas. You're doing great. Thank you. We want to try live once a month we do and that, we had talked about next month we are speaking and going to be vendors at the Oki homesteading conference it is in nathan will try to find a link and plug it in here and so we're really busy with that we're also traveling to tennessee for a apothecary course at our friend's farm and so we know we're not going to be able to go live uh, we might hop on live while we're at we'll try there's no a in that sweetie <laughs> yes there is there is not Okay, so we figured uh, March would be crazy, so we're trying to get alive in. Oh, you're right. <laughs> uh, Lisa, I got my first green stock this week. What do you plant in yours? You know, Nathan and I were just talking about this earlier. This yep. year, we're going to try to do a lot of herbs. Greens do really good in them. Um, you could really grow anything in it. You can grow tomatoes. You can grow cucumbers, peppers, flowers. Um, I think this year what we're going to be doing primarily is trying to fill it up with some herbs. Good. Yeah. Amber, thank you for the educational and informative information you guys share. You are so welcome. That's so sweet. Okay, Alyssa. Succession planting, companion planting, and questions. Y'all, I can't worry. Questions, what happens, what, what one crop finishes producing before... The others, early squash, what does it fit in its place? How do you determine what to plant? So a lot of the things that we're succession sowing are, are greens. So like we're going to be doing lettuce like every week. We're, we're going to be starting lettuce every week. And essentially you'll have them at all different states. You'll have seeds that you're seeding. You'll have transplants. And then you'll have lettuce out in the field that you're harvesting. And so what you're going to do is when you harvest that, you immediately replace it with the transplanted one, then your seed would then sprout. And that's how it goes. When we're talking about other crops like squash, I would go ahead and start them ahead of time. If you don't have a greenhouse, you're going to start them inside. If you are direct seeding, that's a bit different. Um, but with squash, I would probably go ahead and start it. And that way, you know that when it gets to maturity and it needs to be transplanted out, you would have already got a couple of successions, you know, plantings off of your current crop, rip it out and replace it. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah, that 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 makes a lot of sense to me anyways. Yeah. yeah. Would you add any? So, no. And it, I think it really depends on what you're going to plant. Yeah. Because technically, you know, you can probably keep that squash plant alive and then potentially get... I know it's the squash bugs, you know, so it, it really depends. Like uh, even tomatoes, there's so many times that we're ripping up tomatoes when we could really keep them alive for a little bit longer mm -hmm. and then they would probably produce. Right. However, we'll probably rip those up because Jill's got some more started mm -hmm. and we'll get some later summer, you know, yep. fall tomatoes. So that's that's just one of those things, depending on where you're growing, yeah. how long your growing season is. Mm -hmm. um, it's really different for everyone. It so. is. 
Uh, the Naked Gardeners, Nathan versus Jill Kitchen Cook-Off. Who would win? <laughs> Nathan. You know, it depends on what no, we're cooking. you would win. Um, I, I girls, am a little... do you want to weigh in? Who would win, mom or dad? I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> I think mama because <laughs> I like her food. Do you like oh, yeah? my food? See, there you go. I plan on eating dinner tonight. So, so anytime you want to cook. You know, I'm I'm open to it. I so. cooked a really good meal last night, you guys. Oh man, it she was really did. a cabbage roll soup, um, mm -hmm. and it had all sorts of stuff in it. And the spices, like Nathan was like, it had so much flavor. And he was asking me what was in it, and I told him, and he was like, I would have never thought to put those things in there. He's yeah, like, he like really I good. was, I was really impressed because I've been cooking for a long time, and I know what I like, and I know what my family likes, mm -hmm. but I do not really venture outside of that and so when i found out what she put in that you know my mind was just going man i, I would have never thought to add those ingredients and they all married so well so i feel like jill explores a little more mm. and tries some some different things where i'm in my comfort zone you know y'all so. i just bought this cookbook it's called the six seasons by joshua mcfadden if what you it's right here i've got it open on the table if you are a gardener or even you just love cooking you don't have to be a gardener this cookbook is heavenly and it goes through the six seasons it it's just it's so good and i it thought has, there was four seasons and that's what he's saying. There's really not. There's an early summer. There's a late summer. It's true. There's more than four seasons. And I that's was, what he I was setting you up for that. I know. You little turd. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It's worth getting. Um, okay. My good little garden. It's great to see you all. How old are the girls now? So June is two and a half. How old are you, Char? Six. How old are you, Peyton? Uh, Eleven. There you Whoa. Go. 11 going on 18. That's true. Haley said, so thankful for your bravery, Jill. Make it an upload. We all need it. You're a blessing. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Ashley Smith, thank you for that super chat. That was so kind of you. Thank you. Ashley Tuttle, shout out to Peyton. Love seeing you in the videos. You are so funny. She is. Thank you. She, she has her daddy's personality, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Peyton is her mother. To a T. Yes, yes. Peyton is her mama. Um, all right. <laughs> My dad's here and he's like over here doing funny dances in the back. When starting new in ground, oh, you already answered that. How am I so behind? I don't know. Where are you at? Um, someone says the sourdough course was well worth every dollar. Thank you so much. That really is great feedback. We love that you guys love it so much. Uh, Leah, thank you for uplift for your uplifting video yesterday. I really needed to hear your words. Absolutely. I'm so happy to pour into you guys. There's my buddy right there, Jeremy. Oh, hey, Jeremy. A whole other level outdoors. Oh, he's been... Happy at, birthday. At his birthday at party. At his birthday party. Happy birthday. What are you doing jumping on our live? Haley says, have I missed the update on the new Garden Gate door color? We did talk about this in our last vlog. I'm actually, it's on my list of things to do this week. It's going to be a beautiful spring-like week here. And I'm going to be painting the door and the little chalkboard uh, thing at the end of the bed. And we're going to do a yellow, a sunflower yellow. I haven't picked out the color yet, but. There you go. So do I need to go buy paint? I was going to pick it out. Okay. <laughs> I so love that when you speak, it's not my butt or our will. God bless this family gathering rocks. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, from Mulberry, Arkansas. Hey, neighbor. What will the girls be planting, veggies or flowers or both? They they like to get their hands dirty. So when it comes planting time, mm -hmm. they'll plant whatever, right? I say both. Yeah. What do you think? More vegetables or more flowers? Oh, both. Kathy says, sweet Miss P, you look awesome in headbands. I say Miss P because I know it's not spelled the same as the Peyton I know, but I don't know how you spell it. That's really sweet. Yeah, Peyton's name is spelled P-A-I-T-Y-N. It's weird. I get it all the time. I always spell like P A. Oh, P-A-I-N-T-T-Y, and it's P-T. 
Oh, gosh. <laughs> a garden and a Bible farm. Charlie is such a cute sister. Reminds me of me and my sisters. In response to your video the other day on encouragement, I loved how you brought our Savior into the conversation. My heart was lighter and my body was stronger. Spirit was happier. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. If you guys haven't noticed yet, my wife has the uh, gift of encouragement. And we are thankful for that. Well, I think you guys probably get it the least. That was where the conviction came in at church this morning <laughs> because our pastor had said that often we don't extend grace to our families because they know our junk, right? They know when mom's yelling or I've had a bad day or, you know, whatever. But one thing he said that really kind of stuck with me, and Nathan, I talked about this, is he said if you took a postcard and gave it to someone and they had to write about you and the things that matter to you, what would they put on there? Yeah, that was pretty, pretty heavy. It was. And for me, I had to think that, like, even if I gave it to my kids, what would they say? And it would probably be work in the garden because those are two things that I'm extremely passionate about and I spend a lot of time doing. Yeah. But what should be on would be, well, mom loves Jesus. Mom loves us. And I know they know those things. Um, but it was just kind of this, like, sucker punch of, like, oh, man. You know, and he was pleading <laughs> us to – be intentional with your family. Uh, what was it like? Family secrets is, I think, the yeah, like the theme for the next month or something. But yeah, I love to learn more about maximizing a smaller growing space besides going vertical, like interplanting and succession showing. Um, that is something you're going to be seeing a lot of on. Our content that is something we are really shifting to i've spent ever since we moved here and really since before we moved i've been reading books and studying and really researching and taking different online courses myself on really uh maxing out a small space uh, we're actually working on a project right now in regards to that too but it can be done and it doesn't have to look like container gardening or anything like that if you figure out how to grow efficiently and you put good systems in place you don't need a lot of space. Like we've got more land here than we would ever even need to not only provide our family with what we would need for the year, but also provide our community. And so stay tuned. I am going to be putting out a lot of content about this. We're shifting a lot of things on our farm, but I want to just kind of encourage you that it 100% can be done. If you look at Ben Hartman's The Lean Farm, He's got great models uh, to go off of. Elliot Coleman is a wonderful, wonderful resource on maxing out a uh, small space and doing it efficiently um, and also just like doing it in an organic way as well. Hello from Detroit, Michigan. Tanya, how are you? Becky, yes, I would love to learn fermentation. I tried a little last year. My onions did good. I wasn't real comfortable with the pickles and carrots, I ended up throwing them out. It is one of those things you definitely have to get used to it. Once you get the hang of it, though, what is um, that? like fermenting. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Um, oh, man. I am. You guys bear with me. I'm so surprised. Nathan has himself a beautiful bunch of blondies. They're not blonde. <laughs> No, he's talking about, they're talking about Oh, us. I thought you were talking about my hair. I thought you were talking about the gray in my hair. He's like, it's gray, y'all. We, <laughs> we joke about this because, can I tell them your little secret? Oh, my God. I guess. I won't if you don't want me to. I, it's, it's out in the open now. Nathan will pick his grays out <laughs> every day. And I'm like, honey, I love you. Not every day. Every day. And I'm like, you will never pick them all out. You just got to embrace it. <laughs> and move on <laughs> that's why that's why i try to be clean shaven because a lot of it's red here once upon a farmstead hey y'all seeing you together makes me smile enjoy this beautiful week thank you so much Lori asked will you do a farm to table dinner by the sunflower backdrop we will we are turning that into an outdoor kitchen we're gonna have a nice big farm table built we're gonna do string lights you guys should have seen me you know those big um like notepads that you take to meetings and stuff. What are those just called? Big notepads, really? Yeah. Okay, so you guys, I had my whole table lined up with them. We're doing these for 
Um, we're like ramping up our dahlia production this year. So I've got each one made for the different dahlias that we're growing. I'm currently making one right now for like our farm pillars and our the truths that we stand on, the vision for our farm. And then I have one for this outdoor kitchen. And I've got just this very, very clear picture. It wasn't really clear. And then as I've been really starting to like think about it, it's become very clear. And so we are going to put a roof on it. We're going to put some sort of countertop in there. Um, we're talking about some sort of like if we could build an outdoor oven um, or some sort of outdoor grill situation. Yeah, we want a, like a pizza oven. Yeah, something like that. Never Sink Farm has this really cool grill that he built mm -hmm. um, that we might see. Hey, the honey stead. How are you? Congrats on hitting 50,000. Yes. You guys go give Kaylee some love. She hit a huge milestone. Congratulations. We know how that is. I, I remember feeling like we were never going to hit 50,000. And when we did, it was just like, oh man, this is awesome. So I know you have to be excited over there. That's awesome. Y'all are so stinking cute. Praise the Lord for God's goodness. Thank you, Grace Grace. Any chance of a beginner canning course, Mary? That is a great recommendation. That's awesome. You and I should do a course together. I always bring in other people that really compliment it. You guys know I'm a free spirit. On the sourdough course, I did a lot of the art of sourdough. Sean handled a lot of the science. Melanie came in and talked about the health. And then we did a bunch together. But I always find it really beneficial uh, to bring other people in because they have something else they can offer to the table. And I know that you have a lot that you could offer. And, of course, you're really knowledgeable. And that would be fun for us to do that. Yeah, depending on what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, going back to our, what I said earlier, there's so much involved in these courses. Mm -hmm. Like, it would it would take a while. To Jeremy says, that. let it be, man. <laughs> what did he say? Let it be, bro. <laughs> Talking about your hair. Uh, pick one gray to grow back. Amen. Hey, I want to say hello to uh, Lee Penland. I, I think I saw uh, Penland Pastures. I think I saw a comment in there somewhere. Oh, Jesse from Willowbrook Homestead. Nathan is good at encouraging me and letting me know I'm not the only one embarrassing my wife regularly. <laughs> Preach. I have a problem sometimes of holding my tongue. And so a lot of times Jill's just like, rolling her eyes or uh, uh, shrugging it off. Patricia said, hello from North Little Rock. Hey, so glad you took over Roots and Refuge and made it your own, trying to grow flowers for the first time from seed. That's awesome. Hello, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Um, Getting our second garden bed prepped and ready. Lee Pinlin. Oh, that was your friend. Yep. That's exciting. That's really exciting. Diane, hello from Tennessee. I'm an old gardener and you have brought me back to being motivated. You, you all are so blessed. We are so happy to hear that. There's something about just getting outside and getting your hands dirty and feeling connected to nature Absolutely. that just puts you in a good mood. That's right. Just received my Whispering Willow Farm pots from Bootstrap Farmer. So excited. Danny, that is awesome. We're actually going to be ramping up our content around those pots. I've been dabbling in soil blocking lately just to try to learn something new um and i've been getting asked are you not didn't you just make pots we did we're super uh fortunate to have partnered with bootstrap yeah. farmer in that collaboration um and so you guys will be seeing us using those pots pretty soon but we have loved hearing your guys's feedback on that as well it doesn't do any good nathan embrace the gray i know hey guys i'll be 40 in what month and a half? Mm -hmm. So, Alyssa, would emailing my questions be better? Absolutely, please. Uh, Nathan will pop our email in here, and I will be sure to respond to you this week. Cherish your gray, Nathan. I agree. I love the gray. Um, Turner life around. I really want a pizza oven. We do too. That'll be one of those things that it depends on the price. <laughs> Yeah. It depends on the price on what we do on that. We're definitely taking it one step at a time. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to level all the ground and bring gravel in. We know that's going to be a hefty expense. And so we haven't really put a timeline on it. Um, but I think just taking steps and moving towards a goal feels really yeah. good. Luckily, I've got some good friends that are uh, good at things like that. So we'll probably have to call in some favors. Yeah. 
Deborah, can you reuse the vermiculite that dahlias are stored in during the winter months? Yes, we are actually reusing a lot of our soil. Um, so mm -hmm. our friends started tulips and crates, and we're actually going to reuse all of that soil. So definitely. Cast on blog. Do it. <laughs> Do it. I don't want there to is nothing wrong castle. about a silver fox. <laughs> 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 we need a good Nathan cooking vlog. Want to see him in action. Ashley, I agree. I agree. We could do it. We could do it. Normally, it's one of those things I get home from work and, you know, I prep the night before. So uh, I get home and I'm just ready to get everything made, get the kids fed. That mm -hmm. way I can get off my feet. Uh, so... But I, yep. I need to take the time to do mm -hmm. that. Diana's garden. I just finished the forest flower class and starting my first flower garden. Congratulations. Congratulations. I've no, is it an online class? I haven't heard of that, but that's really cool that you're doing that. I can see a lot of new change and more confidence come from your channel. Live in life home set. Thank you for that. Yeah, we're definitely getting more comfortable with it being our space. I think for a long time, it still kind of felt like Jess and Maya is not only to us, but to a lot of our viewers as well and their viewers. And so once that new kind of wore off, you know, um, yeah. I think it's been easier to kind of embrace it. Well, and we spent so much time just coming up with plans and like, mm. you know, Hey, we're going to, um, you know, we're going to put these systems in place to make it our own, you know? So yeah. Everything here uh, worked great right for Jess and Maya, not necessarily us. And yeah. so we're, we're just trying to change some things to make it our own. For sure. So, Three Willows Farm. I just got my Otis in the mail and my boho wrap for my hair. I love it. We are so glad. Happy baking. Patricia said, I just need to learn to love the gray hair. I agree. Ooh, Country Girl Homestead. Would it be more affordable to build a deck instead of leveling the ground? Potentially, where this is where this is going to go, though, that's where all that water. Oh, that's true. That's we have a major issue with water. We we live on, on top of a, a hill or a mountain, mm -hmm. and our property is not level. It kind of V's um, in the center of our property. There's a, and so where we're going to put this, we've got a lot of water. So um, that nice. that could be a possibility. Yeah. We need to potentially look into yeah. that, but. Oh, she said florette. Oh, my gosh. Y'all already know I'm a huge florette fan. That lady is like goals. Hashtag goals. <laughs> I'm watching all of your recent videos and have me so excited for spring. I planted amaranth in a muffin container sitting by the wood stove, 10 degrees in Montana. That is so awesome. Is. Amaranth, I'm actually going to grow this year to dry. I dried some last year, and it is stunning. Y'all are a beautiful family and such an inspiration. Keep letting your light shine, friends. Thank you so much, Thank Jen. You. That's sweet. Can't wait to see all of the changes you have coming, making your home yours. Yes, we are real excited. <laughs> Men age like fine wine. <laughs> I'm guessing that's Jesse saying that. Yes. <laughs> the gray means you have taste. That's right. Yeah. Still single digits here in upstate New York with frozen ground. So I'm living vicariously through you and itching to work the ground. Olivia, that's crazy. We looked. It's still supposed to get below freezing tonight and tomorrow night. But by this weekend, it's supposed to be in the 70s. Yeah. Um, and so I have my whole list of things. We're trying to make our farm a lean farm, uh, referencing Ben Hartman again. And so with that... Um, you don't have things that you don't use and everything has a home. Yeah. And so we're still like unpacking boxes, but that was one thing we got to get outside for a few hours today um, and kind of get things in a general location. We're going to have a tool shed where we keep tools and irrigation and buckets. And then, you know, like making sure everything has a place is something that we are working on it. I told Nathan, like it just being outside in the sun shining I was today was beautiful. Oh, it was just yeah. what I needed. So urban white Buffalo said, uh, I can't cook without my cast iron. Each pan does only one job. I've got a couple pans that do multiple jobs. However, 
Uh, I agree with you. I've got probably 15 cast iron skillets, mm. and some of them have one purpose. Hey, Walker Farm. Ashley said, is it possible to move the mural? I'm pretty sure it's concreted in. Yeah, that's something I'm going to have to contact Jeremiah and see. Um, and it does have that beautiful tree. And, too, something that we're trying to do is shift things to the back of our farm instead of the front of our farm. Right. And that's kind of dead space that we could utilize. Thankfully, yeah. like we said, like Nathan said, we do have a lot of friends who would be willing to put in some sweat equity. Nathan's helped them out a lot. Um, and so, yeah. you know, the guy who's going to come look at our dirt work is who did our, uh, our, our greenhouse. And yeah. he was, he was affordable. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we looked and they, those posts were concreted in. Yeah. I need to look at that. Um, Carolyn says, hey, it's great to see the girls live with you. Chilly and rainy here in the low country of South Carolina. You guys are probably getting the back end of what we just received. I think it was moving mm. that way. Um, Who had asked? Someone, are you going to show us more food or flowers or a bit of both this year? I'll definitely do both. However, we are doing five 48-foot long beds of dahlias this year. We are having a trial year uh, where we are going to try to grow out dahlias and eventually create our own collections and have our own collections um, in a couple years. <laughs> um, and so it, there will be a lot of flowers. Most of our long beds will start with flowers this spring, um, but the tunnel will still be a lot of vegetable production. So I think it'll be a good mix of both, but definitely more flower content than you have probably seen uh, previously because that is something that we're definitely um, have kind of dove head first. Yeah, we're definitely growing some food though. We've just got the space this year. so We, we do. And also we're implementing succession planting. So even yeah. though we are growing food in less beds than what I've ever been, we'll still probably yield the same because the varieties that we're choosing to grow yeah. and the succession that we're growing them in. And I don't know if Doug Gar's on here, but I may be hollering at you because <laughs> she won't give me any room for okra and so we have a neighbor um down the road so i may be hollering at doug and see if he would get me uh give me some area to plant some okra so we'll see benali is that how you say that name benali i hope i'm saying your name right what flowers have you planted to deter bugs from vegetable gardens i've planted borage i've planted marigolds um amaranth i think is even a trap mm -hmm. plant or yeah and we had citronella we, we did we had citronella yeah. there are a few uh good ones that you can do brad tools irrigation and buckets those are the needs absolutely yeah. hold on scroll back up i, I saw know, somebody miss tina taylor this is your niche for sure Miss Tina comments on all Aww, your videos. Thank you. And if I'm not mistaken, she lives in California, but has recently bought some property in Arkansas. Oh, so that's awesome. Uh, Sharon, I tried your coffee around Christmas and loved it so much. I just bought three more bags. Well, thank you so much. Those of you who have ordered, that is what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm shipping out the rest of everybody's orders. Uh, we had to get a new printer. printer so if you yeah. ordered over the weekend, we didn't ship out anything over the weekend. We're also have kind of deemed Sunday as a day of rest. Yeah, family day. And so, so. we're usually I ship on, on Sundays. Nathan ships on Sundays, but we're trying to, we will have everybody's products shipped out by tomorrow. So I want you to answer this. Miss uh, Ellie May. I'm thinking of starting my squash under a bug net and just hand pollinating mm -hmm. to keep the squash bugs away. Have you ever tried that? I have hand. We have. I have. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I have like, hand pollinated before. I never put it under a bug net, so I think that's genius. Yes. But I have done it um, because I, I never knew how to do it, and so I did it to learn. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I think it worked great. I think, I think that it worked would, great. I yeah. think that would be a, a great idea. We had a great yield. However, Stinking squash bugs when you try to go all organic is just it's hard. It's a nightmare. Yeah. Diana's garden asked, How are you, sweet girls, enjoying your new farm? <clears throat> Charlie, what do you think about it? I like it. Yeah. Because the backyard, um, there's like this little treehouse thingy. And then we have a 
But then we have a trampoline, and then we have like, well, there's like this weird rock wall thingy with a mm. rope, and then there's a swing on the other side. And then Dad said he was going to figure out to make a another treehouse. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's been in discussion as well, as mm -hmm. I want to build the girls a nice treehouse. Yeah. So we've got to pick out the right tree. What do you think, Peyton? You like it? I do. It's it's a lot more room to land. Or sorry, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot more land to roam, yeah. and uh, we just have more room for more animals that we probably side, no side don't side. don't even yes commit. we need a side by side because <laughs> we don't want to walk around the property. Um, I think a side by side would be great. <laughs> I have um, y'all know we moved our hardening off tables today with our farm truck we did. that we could not have moved with the side by side and it worked beautiful but Absolutely the farm beautiful. truck will not make it up you know i thought we were going to give the farm truck a rest for a minute or the, the, the side by side we thing. are giving the I, I have to give you a hard time mommy simmer i feel like i should be saying that right now <laughs> I love to see all of the flower production. Thinking about growing quite a bit myself this year. Okay, that's great feedback. I've never grown dahlias. I really want to look at that for next year. Yes, this I, will be our first year growing dahlias from tubers. Yes, and, and I can tell you this. Like when she decided to get into flowers, I was like, oh, I really, you know, I want to put up food, right? I want to put up food for my family for a rainy day or something happens, whatever. Mm -hmm. But when you got into flowers... I saw the joy, you know, that it brought you. And to be honest with you, I mean, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Just bringing in the pollinators. Mm -hmm. It didn't know what a dahlia was until a year ago. 